Hi guys, it's Rob here, and I'm back with another IT 101 or Introduction to Information Technology tutorial. Finishing up the last few pages of our review sheet. How do fiber optic cables transmit data via pulsating beams of light? Third generation languages include Fortran, Basic, COBOL, and C, but do not, does not include XML. Smartphones have a microprocessor, a display screen, memory, and a modem, so the answer is E, all of these. Which of the following concerns does not apply to smartphone users? Signals that can open locked car doors. Concerns related to smartphones are they often cause erratic driving. People can track a user's movements without their knowledge, especially with some of these applications out there. Users can take photos in inappropriate situations. And loud conversations and ringtones can irritate people in the user's vicinity. Now, the operating system is part of the system software. Online education programs are called distance learning. E-readers are devices that can download books in digital form. SMTP is used for sending email. POP3 is used for retrieving email. A dial-up modem is not an ISP or internet service provider. A dial-up line is the slowest but cheapest form of internet connection. Radio buttons are not used for listening to radio stations on the internet. Spoofing means using fake email sender names. The supervisor manages the CPU. A bus connects a computer's control unit in ALU. Virtual memory is hard disk space used to expand RAM capacity. ASCII is the binary code most widely used on microcomputers. Optical mark recognition software reads bubble marks and converts them into a computer usable form or OMR. OMR is optical mark recognition. Optical character recognition or OCR, the software technology that converts scanned text from images or pictures of text to an editable text format, editable text format, usually ASCII, that can be imported into a word processing application and manipulated. Wi-Fi signals can travel up to almost 250 feet. Microwave transmissions are a line-of-sight medium. A Trojan horse is a subclass of virus program that pretends to be a useful program, such as a game or screensaver but ca that carries viruses or destructive instructions. Using encryption to alter readable data into an unreadable form can prevent unauthorized access to transmitted messages. HDTV, or high-definition television, is a form of television that works with digital broadcast signals not analog signals. How many megapixels are best? Well, megapixels measure the maximum resolution of an image taken by a camera at its top settings. If you shoot mainly 4x6s and rarely crop pictures, most cameras have seven, that have 7 or 8 megapixels should be adequate. But if you print poster size shots or do major cropping, a 14 megapixel, megapixel camera makes more sense. Programming errors caused by the incorrect use of control structures are called logic errors. And to finish up with our IT 101 Introduction to Information Technology Review Sheet and Tutorial Series, the six phases of systems analysis design are preliminary investigation, systems analysis, system designs, systems development, systems implementation, and systems maintenance. So it's been a good run here uh, with this set of tutorials. One quick thing that I wanted to point out, if you haven't seen my other tutorial videos, I'm an IT student at NJIT. And the reason I've made these videos is to help other students who are taking these courses. Some of them, such as IT386, IT265, IT201, and CS100, I am a TA for. Others I am not, but I decided with a lot of the courses that I took to make these videos to help you guys out. Also, for those of you that don't go to NJIT, but are interested in self-teaching yourself this material, these are available to you as well, and you also have access to my webpage where you can download these review sheets, and I will try to correct a few of the typos before I post them up. Uh, all of this is hoping to be completed by fall 2015, the fall 2015 semester, so within by the end of August, all of these should be up. Uh, this, this first batch, obviously. And uh, the other thing I wanted to point out is please like and subscribe. I definitely, definitely would like the support on YouTube to see some more uh, likes and subscriptions if you could and if you enjoy the videos. It would, you know, would mean a lot. And uh, also, I wanted to point out that this isn't just an exclusive set of tutorials. We also have CS100, which is Python programming, uh, very introductory level tutorials, introducing beginning programmers uh, to the concept of Python and, and how to program. We also have, I also have other networking tutorials, game development tutorials. So please check out my YouTube channel and definitely, uh, you know, look for the playlist that interests you. Thanks, guys, and hope to see you around in a lot more videos.